Hey, it's the Layer Freak, and I'm back here again with another haul from Lego Shop at Home. So, let's get right into it. Alrighty, so we have two boxes here, and both of them are from Lego Shop at Home. And since it's almost November, you know, haul season is very quickly approaching. So, I'm sure I'll be getting a lot more Lego Shop at Home hauls in the very near future. Let's get into this one. Let's see what this one is. Oh, yes. Alrighty, this is the Mushroom House, the Bricklink Designer Program Mushroom House. Oh yes, let's see this. I actually really, really like this one. Usually I don't build them, but I actually might build this one. It's got a nice little interior. You've got three minifigures in there. Okay, and this has been very popular. I guess like the Mushroom and the Lego, like they did the CMF series. I believe twenty five. They had a Mushroom Girl, so. That one will actually go well with this set. Okay. Let's look at the next one. And I actually got another one of these. Just for extra reselling and to probably hold on to. Because the value of these might increase. And that's one of the main reasons I get these Bricklink Design and Program sets is for their... Because they usually hold a good value. I know some of the richer ones go for a lot more money now. Now that we got the first box cleared out of the way, we'll take a better look at this set. There it is, the roof of it. Just a little house. That's really, I think this is a really cute set. Got the flower there. Got a lot of botanical parts in here. Got a nice little upstairs. Looks like you got a little bedroom in there. And you got a big snail that the kid is riding. <laughs> that, that is really neat. That's a really nice feature. Of course you got some more flowers around it too because the uh, flowers are becoming very popular especially in the botanical line and now let's get the bigger box oh yes oh yes and we got another Brooklyn design program set usually they ship the larger ones in like a the actual lego shipper box but that wasn't the case this time maybe because it wasn't a super large set and this one is the logging railway. Alrighty, I love this one even more. So let's take a look at this one. Yeah, it's 2,731 pieces. Of course, it's the Bricklink set. And this actually kind of reminds me of the Lincoln Log Train set for some reason. I had, I still have that, but I haven't had that in a really in several years. But just the bridge and the logs on the train kind of reminded me of that for some reason. Maybe that was the designer's inspiration, I'm not sure, but... That's what I think of when I see this set for some reason. And I also absolutely love trains, so I had to order this set. Like, of all the designer program sets, this one is the one I love. Got a minifigure there. Let's see how many minifigures we got in it. Looks like I see three of them. There might be more. Got a guy in a caboose. Looks like that's a robber with his bandana. Because that's from the logging steam train era so that happened a lot back in those days you got the train driver but yeah that definitely looks like a robber right there with its mask and stuff so back to the box the box that already sets really aren't the greatest it's just on like a plain white background so there's not a whole lot you can see like these minifigures they're kind of hard to see unless you look really closely to them but they're the eighth all sets and they're people will just buy them anyways because these will these will never be on display at a regular store so well okay so there's my haul for this week and like i said since november 1st is very soon we will be getting a lot more sets especially with like the black friday and everything coming up over the next few weeks a bunch of stuff from walmart amazon shop at home you name it i'll be buying it and of course tons of new sets being released and insiders vip weekend so you know i'll be back really soon but thank you all so much for watching and see you then